wake of World War II, the Soviet Union was ablaze with joy, as the long and brutal conflict had finally come to an end, the sense of relief, triumph, and euphoria was palpable in every corner of the nation. The people of the Soviet Union, who had endured immense suffering and made tremendous sacrifices, were ready to let loose and celebrate their victory like never before. Street parties erupted across the vast expanse of the Soviet territory, and these celebrations were marked by an exuberance and fervor that defied the imagination. The revelry was so intense that it would go down in history as the time when Russia ran out of vodka in a mere 22 hours after the partying began. The end of World War II in 1945 was a momentous occasion for the Soviet Union. After years of conflict, the Soviet people had borne the brunt of the war's devastation. Millions of lives had been lost, entire cities lay in ruins, and the toll on both soldiers and civilians was immeasurable. The defeat of Nazi Germany marked a turning point in the history of the Soviet Union and was seen as a triumph of the collective spirit and resilience of the Soviet people, as the news of Germany's surrender reached the farthest corners of the country, the streets of Moscow, Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, Stalingrad, now Volgograd, and countless other cities and towns erupted in spontaneous celebration. People flooded into the streets, waving flags, singing patriotic songs, and dancing with unbridled joy. The collective euphoria was infectious, and it seemed as if the entire nation had been waiting for this moment to release the pent-up emotions that had been bottled up for years in Moscow's Red Square. A sea of people gathered, with the iconic ST, Basil's Cathedral providing a picturesque backdrop to the jubilation. The night sky was illuminated by fireworks, and the sound of cheers and laughter echoed through the city. It was a moment of unity and shared triumph, as people from all walks of life came together to mark the end of the war. The celebrations weren't limited to the major cities, they spread to every corner of the Soviet Union. In small villages and remote towns, people lit bonfires, danced in the streets, and shared their meager supplies of food and drink with one another. The sense of community and camaraderie was overwhelming. As people rejoiced in the belief that a brighter future lay ahead, however, the defining feature of these celebrations was the widespread consumption of vodka, the national drink of Russia, vodka flowed freely as people toasted to victory, their glasses raised high in the air, for many, it was a way to temporarily forget the hardships they had endured during the war and embrace the newfound hope of a peaceful future. As the celebrations raged on, it became apparent that the nation's vodka reserves were being rapidly depleted. The demand for this cherished alcoholic beverage was unprecedented, and it seemed that no amount of preparation could have anticipated the sheer magnitude of the celebrations, bars, liquor stores, and even government-controlled outlets were quickly stripped of their vodka supplies. In a matter of hours, the unthinkable happened. Russia ran out of vodka. The seemingly endless sea of revelers, fueled by their unbridled joy and thirst for celebration, had drained the nation's vodka reserves at a staggering pace. It was a testament to the sheer scale of the festivities and the passion with which the Soviet people embraced their victory. The shortage of vodka did little to dampen the spirits of the celebrants. Instead, it led to a creative improvisation, as people turned to other forms of alcohol to keep the party going. Homemade moonshine, wine, and whatever spirits could be found were brought out and shared among friends and strangers alike. The celebration continued unabated, as if nothing could extinguish the flames of joy that had been ignited across the country. The euphoria that gripped the Soviet Union in those days of celebration was a reflection of the indomitable spirit of the people who had endured unimaginable hardships during the war. It was a collective sigh of relief, a moment of shared triumph, and a testament to the resilience of a nation that had faced the darkest of days and emerged victorious. The fact that Russia ran out of vodka in just 22 hours became a humorous footnote in the annals of history, a testament to the fervor with which the Soviet people celebrated the end of World War II. In the years that followed, the memory of those celebrations would become a cherished part of Soviet history, it was a time when the nation came together to celebrate not only the defeat of a formidable enemy but also the enduring spirit of the people. 
The story of how Russia ran out of vodka in the midst of those celebrations would be passed down through generations as a symbol of the indomitable will of the Soviet people and their ability to find joy even in the